The invention of the motorcycle in the late 19th century was speed driven. People wanted to go places faster than they could on a bicycle, so they strapped an engine on a bike. A simple concept. Today's motorbikes are far more complex, and they leave the earlier versions in the dust. These motorbikes are an engineering feat. They start by welding the frame out of lightweight aluminium, an advantage for speed and fuel efficiency. The frames are cleaned, powder painted, then baked to cure the paint. They fit a crankshaft and pistons into the engine's left block. They tighten the bearings and caps, then slide in a U-shaped tool called a fork that orientates the pistons in an upright position. Next, they compress the piston rings with another tool so that the pistons easily slide into place as they install the other half of the engine block. They place a gasket on the top of the block and then install the cylinder head. Using torque controlled electric tools, they tighten the bolts to attach the cylinder head to the block assembly. They install the camshaft in the cylinder head unit. The camshaft will drive the valves that bring in air and fuel and let out the exhaust. They rotate the crankshaft to fine tune its action. Now it's time to give this engine a test run. They fill the engine with coolant, lubricant and fuel, then run through the gears. They check for leaks and overall function. When it passes inspection, they purge the coolant from the engine. A motorbike engine isn't only about function, it also has to look good, because it won't be totally hidden under a bonnet. Now, they lower the 102 kilogram engine onto a cradle that sits on a conveyor. They mount the frame onto it. They attach the rear wheel assembly and then the front. They attach the handlebar using the correct amount of torque. And they tighten the brake assemblies. Next, they fill the radiator with antifreeze. Meanwhile, over in the paint department, robots are hard at work. They attach the painted pieces to the bike. First the saddlebag body, then the lid, and finally the trunk body. Then they assemble the instrumentation, such as the speedometer and fuel gauges. This part is called the front cowl, and it goes in front of the instrumentation. They lower the front cowl with the meter panel onto the bike. and then they bolt everything to the frame. Finally, they install a cover for the exhaust pipe. They check everything to make sure it's solidly put together. Then they pull up to a dynamometer, a machine that measures mechanical power. They check the bike's speed, brakes, horn, navigation system and the cruise control. Every motorbike undergoes this scrutiny and if it passes, it's ready for life on the open road.